Hello, I'm Matt from Ludovox.fr and today I'm going to give you an overview of Raids. So Raids is a set collection game and also a racing game, kind of, for 2 to 4 players ages 10 up and it plays for around 40 minutes. So in this game you play as a dragger ship and you want to get the most glory, which is basically victory points. So you're going to have this by fighting monsters, fighting other Vikings, uh, also by winning uh, contests with other Vikings and selling goods, basically. So you are going to have four different rounds of the game for trips, and a trip is a run around the fjords and you want to collect the few resources and then you move on to the next one and the next one and the next one. At the end of every trip you're going to have a scoring. The first one is a race and the other ones are determined randomly by things you have collected during the game, for example, sails, runestones, or shields. So how do we play a game of Vikings, of raids? Uh, on your turn, you're going to have to perform two actions in sequence. First, you take the tile that's in front of you, if there is a tile. Second, you're going to move by the number of spaces you want. So for example, um, that player could do this, and then uh, that would be the next player's turn, who could do that, and then the next player's turn, who could do that. Then, whose turn is it? The player who is going to play is always the last player in line. So that would be the pink in this case. Pink would collect that tile and place it either on their board uh, if it matches, but in this case, runestones are out of board because you just visit the runestone. And it's going to give you victory points at the end of the game if you collect a lot of them. Then before moving, you are going to remove any tiles between you and your next opponent. So for example, there is a tile here between me and my next opponent, so I remove it from the game and then I can move. So in this case, I'm just going to move and sometimes I cannot stop. So if there is an arrow, I cannot stop, so I have to pass uh, and go beyond those. Sometimes it allows me to collect Vikings, sometimes it's a monster. If it's a monster, I need to fight it. So I have the choice of just surrendering uh, one Viking to the monster that allows me to leave the time here, or I could fight it. And if I fight it, I have to uh, discard a certain number of Vikings, which is shown here. In this case, three is printed, I need to uh, discard three Vikings, and then I would collect the tile, and it would be basically three victory points. But the monster would not be there to bother other players. So the tiles have different abilities, and for example, you might have axes. And for example, if I wanted to fight the uh, monster and I had an axe, that would uh, basically give me a discount of one Viking per axe I have in my, in my boat. I can also fight other players, and I'm going to use my Vikings to do that. So for example, let's imagine on uh, Pink's next turn, Pink is going to collect sails, and sails are really good. Uh, the moment they are hyped, and Blue really wants that. So Blue is going to move up to uh, to the space, and basically what Blue is going to do is that Blue is going to spend one Viking. And spending a Viking is launching an attack on the other player, and the other player might spend two Vikings. If that player does, the opponent might spend three Vikings to win. Whoever chickens out first is going to run away from the spot. So for example, let's imagine Pink loses. Pink is going to have to move away. So for example, Pink is going to try to move there. Uh, he's going to collect Vikings there uh, also because uh, he's just past this uh, campment. And uh, basically what that does is that Pink will not collect this tile. It's not their turn. They do not collect the tile. And Blue is going to be able to collect it. So you you basically drive them from the tiles you want if you attack them successfully. You're going to collect tiles uh, which are goods. The goods are very important because uh, they are going to be placed onto your board, onto your dragger, and they take some space. As you may notice, there are shields on my uh, dragger, on my boat. And the shields are the number, the maximum number of Vikings I can fit onto my uh, my boat. For example, if I take a few resources, I might have a lot less spaces, so I'm going to be a lot more vulnerable uh, to attacks because I won't have that many Vikings. That said, I can sell the goods 
if I go to a port, I can sell the goods, which means I can uh, basically leave them out of my board. They are going to be worth victory points at the end of the game. And this is really good for me. So all the players are going to uh, move around the board and then finish their turn of the board. And that's the end of the trip, the end of the round. We're going to have a scoring, which is a race and then something else, uh, depending on what we've, uh, we have to collect. And then we're going to get coins, which are victory points, basically. We're going to do that four times with four different set of tiles. And at the end of the fourth trip and scoring, we're going to tally up the scores. And the highest scores is going to be the winner. The score is basically uh, the goods that you have unloaded, the monsters that you've killed, the shrines, the runestones you've visited, any things on your ship also, and your coins. And that's it. You have your final score. So you know almost everything about this game. As you may realize, it's as much about set collection as it is about tempo. So now, bye-bye and see you on Odovox.fr.